The Reality of Spiritual Warfare in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 12. Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the full armor of God that you may be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Victory in battle comes when you identify the enemy, resist his attacks, and then take the initiative against him. Our nation has known many wars, but Vietnam was an especially frustrating campaign. Thick jungle terrain made the enemy hard to find, and Guerrera warfare made him hard to fight. Many Vietnamese, who peacefully worked the rice paddies by day, donned the black garb of the Viet Cong soldier by night and invaded unsuspecting U.S. forces camp nearby. American public opinion was strongly anti-war, and morale among our troops was often low. Spiritual warfare has similar parallels. Satan disguises himself as an angel of light and prowls about like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour, found in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. His missionaries disguise themselves as apostles of Christ and servants of righteousness, found in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 13 through 15. It takes wisdom and discernment to identify them and defend yourself against their attacks. Many people are defenseless, however, because they scoff at the supernatural and deny the reality of spiritual warfare. They think Satan may be fine for movie plots and book sales, but assume only the superstitious and credulous take him seriously. Unfortunately, many Christians have succumbed to their ridicule and forsaken the battle. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 through 24 reminds us that spiritual warfare is real and that God has given us all the resources we need not only to defend ourselves but also to take the initiative and win the victory over the forces of darkness. I pray that our studies this month will encourage you in the battle and challenge you to always have the full armor of God that you may be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil found in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11. Seek discernment and grace to identify the enemy and stand against him courageously. Amen. God bless you. Until next time.